absence of menstrual periods the glands of the endocrine system that regulate a woman's menstrual cycle are the hypothalamus, pituitary gland, and the ovaries. The hypothalamus is the master gland of the system. It secretes luteinizing hormone releasing hormones LHRH and stimulates the pituitary gland to release luteinizing hormone LH and follicle stimulating hormone FSH. As the pituitary gland secretes LH and FSH, these hormones act on the follicle in the ovary and stimulate its maturation. At the ovary, estrogen and progesterone are released. As the follicle matures, estrogen affects the development of a woman's body and maturing egg. At the same time, progesterone affects the development of the endometrium and the breast tissue. The hormonal flow between the three glands is a negative feedback system. If the body has enough estrogen then no LHRH is produced, however, if estrogen levels are running low, then the hypothalamus secretes LHRH. A healthy menstrual cycle is dependent on functioning of the endocrine system one every month an egg matures and a woman's body and uterus prepare for pregnancy. If pregnancy does not occur, then the endometrial lining is released. Following menstruation, the endometrial lining of the uterus builds again as the uterus prepares for a fertilized egg. During this time there is an increase in arterial and venous blood flow. This is called the proliferative phase of the uterine menstrual cycle. Then, during the secretory phase, the tissue left over after the egg is released, known as the corpus luteum, secretes estrogen and progesterone to act on the uterus and body. At this point in the cycle, if fertilization has occurred, estrogen and progesterone remain high and there is no need for the hypothalamus to secrete LHRH. However, if the egg was not fertilized then production of estrogen and progesterone drops, triggering the shedding of the endometrium the start of another menstrual cycle too this monthly release is the motion of a pana vayu, the subdasha avada associated with downward movement. Ayurvedic treatment sa condition avada vitiation, women with amenorrhea will likely experience an increase in the qualities of dry, cold, light and mobile. To counteract these qualities they should alter their diet to concentrate on warm, moist and heavy foods. The most beneficial tastes for them at this time are sweet, in addition to salty and sour. The spicing of foods with dipanas is important to ensure that samana and apana vayu are functioning, as absorption and elimination of nutrients is key. Classical Ayurvedic dietary recommendations from the Sisruta Samhita include taking ish, Kulatha pulse, masa pulse, kanjika fermented sour gruel etc., tila, wine sura, cow's urine, whey, half diluted takra, curd and sukta. Three of these suggestions include the sweet, sour and salty tastes as well as heavy and oily foods to nourish vata. A woman with amenorrhea should increase her consumption of whole grains, root vegetables, nuts, dairy and oil. The addition of oils to the diet will be very nourishing and help to keep moisture in the body. It is also important to consider a woman's daily caloric intake and make sure that it is adequate especially in cases of amenorrhea and vata vitiation due to anorexia nervosa or excessive exercise. For some women, taking daily supplements will help them to get any vitamins or minerals that their diet is lacking. According to the University of Maryland Medical Center, for women lacking menstruation, it may be beneficial to supplement the diet with calcium, magnesium, vitamin D, vitamin K, boron, vitamin B-6, and essential fatty oils. Women who don't have periods are at higher risk of osteoporosis calcium, magnesium, vitamin D, vitamin K, and boron A help keep bones strong. 4. Vitamin B-6 is recommended because it may help reduce high prolactin levels. Relactin is a hormone released by the pituitary gland, and women with amenorrhea often have higher levels of prolactin. Five essential fatty acids are important to supplement into the diet, as the human body is not able to synthesize these fats. A couple examples of oils containing omega-3 and 6 fatty acids are flaxseed oil and cod liver oil.